Apple has been selling the Macintosh for 30 years, and over 200 models have been made. However, there's one that stands out in particular and holds a special place in my heart, and that is the Power Mac G4Q. It was absurdly expensive. It overheated, it scratched more easily than the jet black iPhone 7, Apple still hasn't learned, and it had nearly daily kernel panics. But do you know what? It was pretty, and it was very quiet. It had no fans, which meant it made no noise, other than from the purr of the hard drive. Now, being disappointed with Apple's current Mac lineup, I decided to build an homage to the G4Q. I call this build Sherlock. It runs Mac OS Sierra, it has no fans, no hard drive, and makes zero noise. Not even a little, it's dead silent. It's faster than most of Apple's lineup for a fraction of the price. Oh, and uh, I'm giving it away. If you're interested in building one yourself, I've left detailed instructions, as well as a list of parts in the video description. However, it all starts with the Asus Z170 Pro Gaming motherboard. For the CPU, we're using an Intel i7-6700K, a killer quad-core 4 GHz Skylake chip, since KB-like is not yet supported by macOS. Now, for the RAM, I decided to go with 16 GB of G-Skill DDR4 memory, clocked at 3000 MHz. And for storage, we're using the 525 GB Crucial MX300 SSD. Now, that's neat and all, but the case is really where things start to get special. I built in a Streacom DB4, which is an incredibly sexy aluminum cube that looks better than even any Mac that I can remember in recent memory. There is a fanless 240 watt power supply that sits in the back, and then the motherboard just slides right in, and we're able to affix the CPU cooler. Now, like I mentioned, this case has no fans, but you might be thinking, every computer has fans. So how does this thing cool? Well, a copper shim sits on top of the CPU's heat spreader, and it draws heat out from the CPU into these long copper heat pipes, which then divert the heat away from the CPU to the massive aluminum walls that act as really big heat sinks, like enormous radiators. Now, despite my doubts, the thermals on this case are actually really impressive, and it looks like a decent cooling solution. At idle, the 91 watt i7 CPU, which is by no means a, a cool running CPU, sits at 36 degrees Celsius, which is about the same as an air cooler. Now, in heavy load scenarios, such as encoding a 30 minute video to H.265 from ProRes, it's a very demanding task, mind you. The temperature rises to about 78 degrees Celsius. Um, I think it peaked at 79. And while that's definitely warmer than an air or water cooler, it's still well within Intel's recommended operating temperatures. And it was a trade-off that I was willing to take for absolute silence. Now, you may have noticed that there's no GPU. We're using the Intel HD 530 internal graphics that come on the 6700K. Now, while there are PCIe slot openings, uh, you could technically fit a low profile card, uh, but there's no airflow. And so the only GPU that I think would even really work would be a blower style card because it could suck air in and then blow it out the back, but it would run very, very hot. And when a card runs hot, that means the fans spin higher, when the, hands, the fans spin higher, that means that it runs louder, and that defeats the whole purpose of this silent, fanless build. So I decided to go without. But that's okay, because it doesn't really matter as long as you're using it as a Mac or using this machine as a non-gaming Windows PC. And you'll see, as I'm about to show you with these benchmarks. Before that, though, I want to factor in price. At the time of video publication, Sherlock would cost $1,350 to build. Now, a large chunk of that is the case and the power supply. They're very expensive. In fact, they almost make up 40% of the cost of this build. It's a very particular case for a very peculiar builder. If you are willing to sacrifice complete silence for five Benjamins and resort to fans, you could build this machine for about $850. And with the extra money, you could even buy a GPU. But again, the purpose is to be completely dead silent like the G4 Cube, so we went with the premium case. I decided to benchmark Sherlock against both the latest and the highest end most expensive configuration of the Mac Mini, the iMac, and the MacBook Pro. And then I also threw in the entry-level configuration of the ludicrously outdated Mac Pro for kicks and giggles. 
In Geekbench, Sherlock either matches or outperforms every single machine, all without making a peep. Did you get up? Okay. In fact, the cheapest machine to outbench Sherlock's multi-core score is Apple's $4,000 six-core Mac Pro configuration, which only outbenches it by a mere 200 points. In Cinebench, the story is much the same, with Sherlock outperforming all but the fully loaded 5K iMac, as the two share the same CPU. Though, I will remark that I was able to overclock the CPU in Sherlock by 300 megahertz. Now, I couldn't do more than that because cooling was a limitation. Again, there's no fans, but I was able to push the benchmarks even further and get about five to 10% extra performance. Sherlock runs Mac OS very well. Everything works perfectly with the exception of iMessage and handoff, but only because I was lazy and I didn't install the Broadcom Wi-Fi Bluetooth card I was talking about in my other Hackintosh video. If you buy that, and it's like $20, install that thing, you're golden. So sure, this build is not economically practical, at least not when you compare it to other Hackintosh builds. The case and the power supply themselves cost $500, but it's beautiful, it is completely silent, and despite all that, it's still cheaper and faster than all of Apple's offerings and might be a good alternative. Like I mentioned, I'm giving this one away to one of you. I can't give it away with Mac OS on it, so it will come with a licensed copy of Windows 10. The giveaway is open worldwide, yay! And it runs until April 30th, 2017. Click the link in the video description below to enter. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Check out some of our other awesome videos. And as always, stay snazzy.